Um, hello and welcome. We have a little bit of catching up to do today. Um, today's video is going to be about Alessio Delita, or however you pronounce his name. Um, just to cover a bit of his background career, um, he raced in FIA from the 4 in 2018 with very poor results, finishing last in the standings. He did the same thing in 2019. Uh, he went from the 3. And if we're comparing Mahavir Raikunathan, Lord Mahavir, to this guy, um, their gaps in from the 3 to their closest camp cross teammate, they're in the same team. Mahavir's was like 1.4 seconds, the Lira's was like 2.8. Um, and then in 2020, he remained with Campos, partnered with Alex Peroni and Sofia Flourish, and Sofia uh, er, got out-qualified by Delita in the first round, but then out-qualified him and all the others. And, yeah, he, again, he finished last in all three championships I just mentioned. Um, yeah, this guy is not a good, um, driver. Um, so anyways, we have some footage from, uh, the Lita's, um, social media that shows him doing 350 kilometers per hour, 350 kph, on public roads, reckless. I mean, like, come on! Oh, I was only doing it to, um, raise awareness about how dangerous it is. Dangerous it is. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna go murder someone to raise awareness about not murdering people. Look, that's not... That doesn't do anything. Like, he could have killed someone. And God knows how many times he's done this. And, yeah, he may not have killed someone yet. But, in the future, it's not, his luck is not gonna run forever. He's going to kill someone eventually if he continues to do this. And he doesn't care. I mean, he's posting on social media. He doesn't care if he's speed... Like, the speed of them is probably, what, maybe 100, 150 kph at most? You're doing three, th over 300, in some cases 350, on public roads with other people on the road while the road is open to other users. Like, how stupid can you be? I, I really hope this guy gets his license, um, pulled both his driver's license, and his super license, and his racing license. He, he doesn't deserve it. You don't need it if, if you're gonna do this with your life. I mean, someone is going to die. And, yeah, this is the worst example I've seen. This is the worst thing I've seen in 2020. We've had... Cowler and Sandy and were getting suspended by NASCAR. But Daniel Hopps, a little joke thing it did during the stay at home. We had um, this now. We had a dress room posting a picture of a strudel with a freaking swastika on it. Like we've had all these different things in the racing world that have happened. And this is by far the worst. I mean, what in the hell is this guy doing? Like, someone will die, and it will happen sooner rather than later, if he, if he continues to do 350 kph on public roads. And the thing is, he does not care. He really does not care about the other people like if he gets an accident if he ha if he does one thing wrong when you're going at 350 kilometers an hour you make one tiny mistake you're gone you're gonna be on in a massive accident you're gonna potentially kill yourself and and several other innocent people because of your own stupidity like this is not on this this need like this guy needs to be fined have a super license pulled have his racing license pulled, has, have his driver's license pulled, and maybe even put, put in jail. This is not the type of behavior people should do. 
This is the worst example of a racing driver I've ever seen. Um, this is not how normal people behave. Um, in all seriousness, this is probably just one of those other rich idiots that thinks, just because I have a car I can go 300 plus kilometers an hour. That gives me the right to go 300 kilometers an hour on public roads. Not on private roads, not on a racetrack, not anywhere safe, where the only person you're going to kill is yourself and maybe some marshals. You know, this is on public roads. Like, Um, if you for in some, if you for some reason back this guy and support this guy in this situation, go, leave. You are not needed. Like, it's, no, this is stupid. This is gonna kill people. This is not how people, normal people behave. And it's just not needed in the world. Um, yeah. I mean, there are rumors that he's gonna go to F1 2, and there's gonna be a lineup of him and Matt Javier. Well, that's gone now. And if it does happen, I. There's gonna be huge backlash and huge controversy. Because he doesn't deserve to be in race. He doesn't deserve to drive. The other one being a racing car, he does not deserve to drive. Like, it. It's just so idiotic. Like, he has to understand. He, him going 350 kilometers an hour on public roads does not just endanger his life, it endangers many, many more people's lives. It endangers all the different innocent people that may ca get caught up in his own stupidity. It endangers whatever first responders come to get him. And it endangers all the people that the first responders have to go to this idiot's accident rather than help them. It endangers, you know, and this is not something that, you know, a lot of people know other people that have gone severely injured or passed away, sadly, in accidents like these where you have an idiot going um, extremely high speeds on public roads and they hit a car wrong, or they hit a pedestrian, or they have a massive accident, and people die. And this will most likely hit close to home for a lot of people. And you posting this on social media basically shows that you don't care if you kill someone and or yourself while you're doing this. And that is not right. Um. Thank you for, for listening, this has been a bit of a, a rant, um, of course I went over a bit of his career earlier in the video, um, but since about mid and a half in, it's been kind of a, a rant, I've probably been repeating the same things over and over, um, thank you for listening, and, um, yeah, this guy's a... This guy is something else. Um, yeah. Bye. I mean, there are rumors that he's gonna go to F1 2, and there's gonna be a lineup of him and Matt Javier. Well, that's gone now. And if it does happen, I. There's gonna be huge backlash and huge controversy. Because. He doesn't deserve to be in race. He doesn't deserve to drive. The other one being a racing car, he does not deserve to drive. He has to understand. Him, him going 350 kilometers an hour on public roads does not just endanger his life. It endangers many, many more people's lives. It endangers all the different innocent people that may ca get caught up in his own stupidity. It endangers whatever first responders come to get him. It endangers all the people that the first responders have to go to this idiot's accident rather than help them. It endangers, you know, and this is not something that, you know, a lot of people know other people that have gone severely injured or passed away, sadly, in accidents like these where you have an idiot going, um, 
extremely high speeds on public roads, and they hit a car wrong, or they hit a pedestrian, or they have a massive accident, and people die. And this will most likely hit close to home for a lot of people. And you posting this on social media basically shows that you don't care if you kill someone and or yourself while you're doing this. And that is not right.